Hello everyone, I've got something a little bit different to share with you today. A company called Phone Memo contacted me a couple of weeks ago and asked if I was interested in reviewing one of their black and white thermal printers. So I had a look online and did a bit of research and thought, hmm, that looks quite interesting. So I agreed to give it a go. Um, so this is the little printer which arrived um, just, just before the weekend. This is the box that it arrived in. So, you know, really neatly and sturdy packaged um, and this is the product um, itself look how neat and tiny that is this is a just a little black and white printer um, so let's have a look at the packaging um, you can use this with iOS or Android and it works via Bluetooth and what can you basically do with it well you can scan you can print images um, do horizontal printing create to-do lists um, and also print word documents but look how much fun I've been having I mean this this is just you know a cute selection of some of the things that you can do with this black and white um, printer so this is what they sent me they sent me the printer itself and three rolls of transparent um, sticker paper there was a roll of white printer paper already in the machine and they're self-adhesive as well which makes it even more fun this is so easy to use you get with the printer um, a little charger I just um, and it plugs in here so you need to charge the printer up first it just plugs into a normal um, usb socket i plug mine into my alexa i've also got um, a socket on my desk lamp and it didn't take very long to um, charge at all i think you know a couple of hours something something like that this printer is incredibly easy to use and that is the instructions that's it and you know i even set this up without even needing to refer to that so you've got just a little switch on the side of the printer so that's how you open it up it doesn't take any cartridges or anything like that no printer ink because it's thermal this is the printer roll so that inserts like that and you just pull it out to the edge snap it shut and that's it you're ready to so go once you've charged your printer you'll need to download the phone memo app from the app store before you can use it so here it is i've downloaded it it's free of charge and doesn't take very long to download so phone memo um, and once you've logged into the um, app, this is the front screen that you'll be presented with. So you've got an option here to make notes, scan, print images. Um, there's various templates as well. Microprint, which is printing in really small text. Um, and you've got a toolbox here. So let's just click onto notes, for example. Um, and here is where we can um, type some quotes. I'm just going to press the return button um, just to give myself a bit of space. I've learned the hard way here. I'll show you um, that in a second. Click onto uppercase, spread your wings. Okay, then I'm going to click text because I've got um, an option here to centralise. So if I click onto, onto this, the, the um, spacing option I can centralize it um, if I click onto the A I've got an option to make the text bigger so spread your wings and as soon as you're ready to print make sure that your printer is on this is the on button and if you click that and hold it down for just a couple of seconds um, the green light will come on so I'm just going to press print choose my printer here um, press print again. Um, this is where you've got an option to either do it in fine print or dark print. I want it nice and bold so I'm going to go for thick. Press print and out it comes and here we go. So that is my, my quote and of course um, because this is on um, sticky paper I can just peel this straight off and just pop that straight um, into my, my journal. How fun is that? So what else can we do? We've got an option here to print images um, and I've downloaded a load of images from Pinterest. Here they are so I can choose to print out any of these. Let me just show you how I did that. If you go into Pinterest so here we go. Here's here's Pinterest um, and I've clicked I've keyed in here free printable Christmas images so search and then all of these lovely images um, come up let's have this one here so the first noel um, you've got three dots in the top left hand corner i'm going to click on that and then i'm going to press download image which will download it into my photo bank so if i click off i go back to my phone memo app so the one with the mushroom here we are 
And if I click onto print images, here we go, there it is, it's appeared in my photos. And so I want to print this one out. So I'm going to click on the print button, choose my printer, and I'm just going to press print. And we'll have that in nice and nice and bold. And out it pops. So, you know, vintage, your own ephemera, ephemera at the press of a button. So, of course, I can go back and print out um, other images as well, print images. Um, this one here was another free printable. I put in free printable um, Bohemian Ladies, and that's how I found that one there. So, if we press print, um, again, let's um, choose thick for nice and bold and see how that comes out. Now, the images are slightly grainy. Um, they're all black and white. Um, but I just think, you know, for, for you ladies that love your vintage um, images, I just think these are absolutely fabulous. Let's show you what the difference is between the thick and the um, medium. Let's print it out this time in medium. And then you'll be able to see um, the difference. I like them nice and bold, but you know, that's in fact, actually, um, I think it's probably a bit clearer um, in the medium, but yeah, there you go. That's the um, comparison in quality for you. What else can we do? Let's go back to um, print images. Um, for instance, here I put in free printable butterfly images. So I'm gonna put this one onto thick which is bold and I can print out some butterflies and you can colour these images as well. So there we go, that's another one. Let's have a look and see what else I've got on here. I mean, you can download as many free images from Pinterest as you like. Um, I've got one here, Believe, let's print this out. So you can print out, you know, quotes and that kind of thing as well and um, inspirational quotes and words and that kind of thing. How, how much fun is this? Now there's also an option to um, scan. Here's a quote from a book, How To Be Calm, here. Um, let me just move the printer out of the way for a second. And so all you need to do is click onto the scan option, click onto the camera icon, um, and then just take a photograph of your quote. Then you can um, adjust it here and crop it as you need to, really, really easy to do. Let's just uh, crop this nicely. There we go. Um, when you're happy with it, just click on the tick icon. That's what it looks like. Um, you can adjust the brightness as well. I'm quite happy with how that looks. When you're ready to print, press print, click on the printer, print again oh hang on a second the printer isn't out of paper why is it um doing that i've just changed it hmm here we go it was because i'd forgotten to reconnect the um printer after i'd um changed the um the paper right okay so let's have it on thick again and print it out and here it comes. Sorry, I've got to, um, my printer is um, plugged into my lamp to charge so that I can use it whilst it's charging. And there we go. So that's how easy it is to scan any images that you, you like. Now I've just changed the um, paper over to the semi-transparent paper and I've printed out this image here and then I've cut around it and I'm just going to attempt now to try and get this away from the backing paper. So you just need to get in with your nail or something. And then I've got a glass jar. Um, let's have a look. Where shall I have that? We'll pop that here. And I just think images like this would just be a really great way of decorating jars and bottles and things to make as gifts for Christmas. So there we go. That's the semi-transparent um, paper. Um, now this, of course, you could put onto a piece of book paper. Here's one I did earlier. So, you know, lots and lots of ideas for, for these two. So I want to do just one more on this um, semi-transparent paper. I've got this image here of the reindeer. So I'm just going to print. Um, we'll have it in medium. I've found that um, this doesn't always come out of the serrated edge, um, this paper here. So I'm going to be on the safe side and cut this with my scissors instead. So I've got this wonderful um, reindeer image and I just, I'm just going to trim it like so and how fabulous to put this on some Christmas um, music so let's peel 
peel this off and um, we've got Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer let's just make sure we centralize that and what a wonderful piece of um, ephemera um, that would make for anybody who wants to know where that piece of music paper came from it's from the building better strings and orchestras third edition by belwyn mills um, music limited this dates back um, at least 40 years because i had this as a child but how cool is that Right, I just want to show you one more thing, um, just quickly as I change the um, paper over, I'm just popping the white paper back in and I thought this would be um, a good way to show you how easy it is to change the paper over. I think it's because this is a new roll and it's, um, it's loosened, it's sprung out. So let's just um, tighten it up um, a little bit. Right, okay, so there we are. So you need the printer coming out of these little gaps like like this. Oh, go on, in you go. There we are. And so it comes out. This is just because this is a brand new roll. Um, and then you just pop it into the printer like, like that. Um, you don't want too much hanging over the edge because you don't want to waste your paper. Um, and then if we go back into Pinterest, here we go, and we key in um, free... ATC backs, ATC backgrounds. Here we go. Um, you'll find lots of free printables for artist trading card backs. I get asked this question all the time about ATCs. So let's just have a look and see what we can find. Um, I want to, oh, I love that image there. Let me just save, save that. Hang on, let's try free ATC backs. ATC backs. I found several earlier that I liked, but I thought I'd do it um, with you. Here we go. So we've got one here, for instance, so we can um, download image. Let's have a look and see what else there is. Oh, did I download that? I can't remember whether I did. Um, we've got this one here, so let's download, download that um, as well. What else have we got? got this one here I don't like that one as much so let's stick with those two that will do but you've got lots and lots and lots I haven't quite figured it out when you've got six or nine on a page how to just print out one um, I'll have to look into that but let's just go back to faux memo so back on to faux memo with a little toadstool I've been calling it um, a mushroom haven't I um, so print image and it should be there here we go here's my ATC backs I did print that one um, twice which one do I like um, I think I like this one here with the typewriter so we'll print that out and there you go you've got an instant back to put onto your artist trading cards Here's another design of artist trading card back that um, I found if you're not really into the vintage style and I just thought this would be absolutely perfect to go on the back of this artist trading card here and you know there we go job job done so so many uses for this little machine. I have had so much fun using this printer. Yes, you can colour them. So I've coloured the butterflies with alcohol markers. They're taking a little bit of time to dry. Um, and I just inked around the owl using some frayed burlap distress ink. You don't need um, very much. It sinks into this paper really, really well. So you, add, you can add um, touches of colour to them. But oh, just so much fun. Um, just so many ideas springing to my mind as to how we can use these. I just think they're absolutely great for printing um, artist trading card backs. Now one word of warning and the only negative that I can see with this machine is the um, length of time that the sticker paper lasts. The white self-adhesive thermal paper will last up to two years. You know your till receipts that they do fade over time. However, um, Foam Memo do sell a long-lasting one that I do believe lasts up to 20 years. So if that worries you, then you know do check that out. Do be aware. Um, however, the the um, semi-transparent sticker pa paper is long-lasting. It says here, printed content duration, long-term preservation. Um, so, you know, I don't need to worry about this one here. And if you printed artist trading card backs on the semi-transparent, you wouldn't have an issue um, either. So I just want to make you uh, aware of that. I will leave the details of phone memos 
um, website in the description box below. They are offering a 10% um, discount code that you can use um, on their website direct or via Amazon as well. So I'll leave all of those details in the description box below. And of course, I hinted to a little giveaway in the title. Phone Memo have been really generous in offering me a printer to give away as a prize. So let me clear away and I'll get it out for you. So here is the printer that Phone Memo have very, very generously sent me to give away to one of you. You can see that this is brand new and sealed within the box. It's exactly the same as the one that I have demonstrated here. So this gorgeous teal green, really pretty. Now inside you will find your um, cable to charge the printer, full instructions. And within the printer itself, there is one reel of the white self-adhesive thermal paper so you know you'll be able to get going with it um, straight away. Um, I just want to run through some of the rules though for entry. Now to enter the giveaway you must be 18 years of age or older. You must also be subscribed to my channel so if you're not subscribed already don't forget to go and hit that subscribe button and also give me a thumbs up whilst you're at it. I also need you to follow both myself and Phone Memo on Instagram and I'll leave the details on the screen and in the description box below. And then finally um, I need you to leave a comment in the comment section below telling me why you'd like to win the Phone Memo printer and what you you would do with it and that is pretty much it so i just want to say a huge thank you to phone memo for sending me the printer to review and being generous enough to send me another one that i can give away to one of you i've had an absolute blast with this little gadget today so good luck everybody don't forget to um check out the details of the giveaway um rules in the description box below to make sure that you fully qualify to enter and i'll be back in a few days time to share some more ideas as to how i'm I'm going to use this multitude of things that I have printed out and of course to announce the winner so good luck and take care everyone I'll see you all again soon bye for now